Hey everybody, we're back again. Um, what we did was we pre-assembled the Verifoil kit, the VK3, and wanted to show you what it looks like before we actually mount it to the Veritach fittings. We brought it into the trailer. Well, first we mounted it, okay, and we put the Veristrut fittings, the plug-and-play Veristruts, into either side of the uh, Verifoil. Okay, after we did that, we went ahead and attached our two bolts on either side got that assembled okay so the assembly was complete while this was sitting in the back of the boat what we did was we put two rags one on either side of the trailer so that we could just take and turn this thing over it was sitting like a table with four legs we turned it over on these uh, Vera strut bars and just rotated it into this point and that you'll see that we have a uh, shrink wrap on here to protect the sides of the hulls not only while you're coming in but also while it's in place, okay? So we want a, an insulator between the actual Vera foil and the pontoon. So that's what you see here. This is a shrink wrap, a uh, very stout shrink wrap. It's a very industrial thickness. Um, and so that's the application we're using here. So next thing you're gonna see is, uh, the cameraman's gonna help me actually get this in place. We're gonna take and we're gonna put the back bolts in first. So we're gonna locate those right here where the pencil marks are. And then what we'll do is we'll rotate that whole thing up as it's hanging from the back legs. We'll rotate it up to the front ones and then we'll put the front bolts in. So it's going to be a matter of putting four bolts in. We'll show you kind of afterwards what that looks like. But with me here by myself, I don't want to scratch this up. We just put some graphics on here that we like. This is a white version, by the way. We can go ahead and we can uh, have any kind of a coating applied to your uh, aluminum verifoil that you want. But in this case, we went white with just a little bit of our colors, our uh, black and red colors, and, um, and not just a standard black extrusion or a standard milled finish extrusion. So, Mike Gable, Pontoon Hydrofoil app Applications. You can find us at pontoonhydrofoil.com. We're going to sign off for now, and you'll see the next video. Thank you. Hey everybody, we're back. Real quick, we just wanted to show you what it looked like after we got the F2 or the back two holes in. Okay, we're going to show you up here that we've got this bolt in, we've got this bolt in. There's no nuts on them as of yet. We're going to flip up the front and then we're going to bolt it and then you'll get an idea where it's, where it's at and what it's supposed to be like. But that's it. The mounting of this thing is four bolts um, in the location that we want and done deal. Okay, we're back. Installs done. Vera foil and Vera struts have been attached to the Vera attached system. Four bolts are in there. The front two we wanted to note are carriage bolts, so you only need a single wrench to do these. Um, so we have a, a, a slotted wrench that uh, is actually a, a, a um, socket wrench style um, wrench, but it's a normal wrench. So we get back behind there pretty easy, and there are lock nuts that are on there, all stainless hardware, by the way. Uh, that's used and you can see now where the uh, shrink wrap goes up against the hulls and how it lines up um, with the hull so that we have a nice tight fit in here okay we don't want ideally we don't want slop we want to make this fit tight so that when you guys are measuring we want to make sure that this distance from here to the other side of the pontoon the inside the inside dimensions are pretty accurate the more accurate you can be there the tighter this fit will be and the less slop we'll have better fit just better all-around performance okay so that's it. Uh, Mike Gable, Pontoon Hydro Full Applications. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to show you our uh, Vera plate next, and that's it for this session. Hello, everybody. It's a continuation of uh, original video, but we were showing you what the VK3 kit includes. Okay, and the VK kit, uh, VK kit three includes also the Vera plate. Okay, so we talked about how it includes the Vera strut, the Vera foil, and now the Vera plate. And the Vera plate is fit by you at the house. Okay, this Vera plate is put onto the outboard motor. We have a manual that shows you how to install it. It's installed with flush style stainless steel hardware. And in this case, with the 75 horsepower, we use three bolts, 1024 bolts on either side. Okay, what we'll do is we'll flip that up so you can see the underside installation, but this plate is recessed to the actual anti-ventilation plate of the outboard motor. In this case, it's an E-Tech 75 horsepower 2016 um, Evinrude. And the um, 75 horsepower, we used to have a three blade, uh, what was it called? It was a, a, a prop specifically for pontoon boats. 
and um, we took that prop off because we reached the maximum speed and we wanted to get more out of it once we put the Vera foil on and so now we're getting approximately two miles to three miles an hour faster by going to a new prop. We did not go stainless because we wanted to, to just show an aluminum to aluminum advantage, but we are actually getting almost another mile an hour out of stainless props. I guess because they're much skinnier um, in their, their profile view going, you know, cutting through the water. So I think that skinnier cut through the water just allows you a higher RPM, which allows you a higher speed. So. Anyhow, this is what we were showing you earlier is what the plate comes like. You actually take this plate and fit it onto the motor like that, okay? And then you go ahead and you go and fit it in place. But in some cases, you might end up having to grind a, the fit here a little bit between the front end of the lower unit, okay? So if you have to grind between the front end of the lower unit, right? If you have to grind in here, then that just means that you're getting a tighter fit on the front end so that there's no um, grass or anything can slip in between that, the, the front entry point. All right, so the tighter the front entry point of the bearer plate, the better. All right, so not to make this too long, that's it. That's what we wanted to show you. We're going to go ahead and trim this up and let you look at the underbody and see how the, um, uh, if you can, just slide in a little bit so they can see the underbody. Come on in a little bit. And you can see how flush this is with the anti-ventilation plate and the recess that's received here, okay? So this is all CNC machined. Um, you can see it on the plate here. This is all done by CNC, and that matches the anti-ventilation plate of whatever model uh, boat you have and you give to us. That's one of the reasons we ask you that question. We want to know the model, the make, the year, so that we can match this Vera plate to your existing application, and that'll allow you to go ahead and, as you're foiling around and decreasing your fuel usage and increase in your speed and most of all just going with a much better ride especially in those choppy conditions you're able to change the attitude of your boat just by the trim tilt switch you won't have to use the one in the back like i'm doing i'm just showing that you that but the trim tilt switch on your throttle mechanism you just trim it up if somebody goes forward in this boat you're going to want to get the bow up right so then we'll go ahead and trim up if somebody comes back, we'll go ahead and do just the opposite. So what we got to do is, um, you, you learn that so fast, it just becomes natural while you're talking. Uh, any questions, just give us a call at 727-455-5576, or we'll give you the contact information at the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching.